for October. When I read to Mina Van Helsing's message in the phonograph, the poor girl brightened up considerably. Already, the certainty that the Count is out of the country has given her comfort, and comfort is strength to her. For my own part, now that this horrible danger is not face to face with us, it seems almost impossible to believe in it. Even my own terrible experiences in Castle Dracula seem like a long forgotten dream. Here, in the crisp autumn air, in the bright sunlight, alas, how can I disbelieve? In the midst of my thought, my eye fell on the red scar on my poor darling's white forehead. Whilst that lasts, well, there can be no disbelief. And afterwards, the very memory of it will keep faith crystal clear. Amina and I fear to be idle. So we have been over all the diaries again and again. Somehow, although the reality seems greater each time, the pain and the fear seem less. There is something of a guiding purpose manifest throughout, which is comforting. Mina says that perhaps we are the instruments of ultimate good. It may be. I shall try to think as she does. We have never spoken to each other yet of the future. It is better to wait till we see the professor and the others after their investigations. The day is running by more quickly than I ever thought a day could run for me again. It is now three o'clock.